funny. Steve Hernandez! I would compete with the dog. <laughs> Great to see you guys. You're beautiful. So many beautiful people here. Uh, if there's one thing you have to know about me, it's this. I hate quick homeless people. I hate them. They don't move like you and I. They zig and zag, dart to and fro. They make me nervous. But what I didn't know is that quick homeless people bring out the rich white man in me. <laughs> I found this out the other day. I was downtown. It was scary down at Skid Row, right? It was dark out. I was at a red light. My windows were down. My air conditioner was broken. I only date in the winter. <laughs> I was there, minding my own business, when all of a sudden, a quick homeless guy comes out of nowhere, goes right to my window and says, Give me a dollar. And without thinking, and I never say this, but without thinking, I said, not a chance. Just like that, I said, not a chance. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry. All that to say, it's good to be white. You know what I mean? It's good to be white. You guys know I'm out there dating, have a good old time. Uh, my later years, I'm getting into Latinas. But previously, I've been into white women. Nothing fancy. Uh, not like some of you white women in here. Oh, put me on TV. Get the fuck out of here with your tan skin. Nah. I like my white women. Pasty? Uh, yeah. Little freckly, huh? She looks like she knows her way around the New Testament a little bit, you know what I'm talking about? Translucent nipples, SPF 100, her dad's the president of something. Not too pretty in the face either, that's where a lot of guys go wrong, huh? I like the kind of girls with beauty that doesn't fade, okay? I like my women. Handsome. Do you know what I mean when I say handsome, huh? Oh, I'm gonna tell you. I like them so handsome when they do this with their bangs, I know what their brother looks like. That's handsome, okay? It's like, Timmy, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh shit, it's Melissa and it's morning time. That's handsome, all right? Got a type of guy that I like too. Now, I'm not a homosexual, but I do believe that every man should figure out what kind of guy they'd be into. Just in case. Prison, fellas. The end of the world, fellas. What do you want out of your man, huh? I want two things out of my boo boo straight up. First, pretty eyes, okay? When I look in my man's eyes, I want to see the future. Is that a crime? And two, and this is most important, he's got to be bigger than me. Why? Because I want to feel safe. You know what I'm talking about? I want to feel safe, okay? Me and my man walking down the street and shit all in love. I'm wearing cut off denim shorts. You know the look. I'm having a good old time. Someone hurls gay slurs at us. I go off like a chihuahua. Don't you talk to my man like that? And my man grabs me back, right? Starts kissing me on the neck and shit. Then he whispers, stop it, boo-boo, stop it. You're not alone anymore. Because he's going to be sweet too, ladies, okay? Because I've been with fucking assholes before. Abs don't help you sleep at night. That joke was inspired by a true story. Uh, I was bartending once. It was like 10.30. No one was in there. And uh, this guy walks in. He's like 6'4", 280. Sturdily built, right? He comes in, and we just start talking for like 15 or 20 minutes. We're having a good time. And all of a sudden, I feel this, I feel this like energy coming from him, right? It's like a guttural hunger, right? It starts to envelop me from across the bar. And all of a sudden, I know two things. One, this fool's gay. And two, he wants me with his whole heart, right? Now, you women are used to that fucking gross energy from men when they're doing laundry, I think. But as a mostly straight guy, I gotta tell you, I was intrigued, okay? I mean, how often do I get to make someone's wildest sexual fantasies come true, huh? I looked at my watch, I was like, God damn, I'm glad it's 10.30 and not 1.30. 
I go home with this fool, right? Show him what now. I start thinking about him fucking me. Not the pain. But I just start thinking about him fucking me and shit. Just like, wow, wow, wow. Just giving it to me. Then I look back all cute and shit like this. I like when you're having sex with a girl like that and they look at you and then you know, it's like, yeah, it's still me, girl. I'm like, come on, let's go. Just wow, wow. But I look at him and I'd be like, hey, fool, is it all you dreamed of? That'd be dope, right? <laughs> and, uh, hey, for real though, I feel, I'll be honest with you, I do like getting fucked in the ass. Uh, and I'm not gay, but it's gotta be a guy. I'm gonna tell you why, right? Because <laughs> I like to feel like trash when I get fucked in my ass. And no one makes you feel like trash like a man, am I right? Come on. Like a woman pegging me and shit all soft. Is this okay? Is this good? That ain't right. I want to feel like garbage, okay? I want someone to use me for my home and forget about my name. I want to feel like trash like after you eat Burger King breakfast. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's not bad. Recently had sex with my first black woman. It was beautiful. Yeah. Now I'm a liberal guy, you guys can tell that. <laughs> but right when I was about to go down on her and taste of her delicious honey pot, the fruit that God has blessed us with right in front of my face, right before I was about to taste her, this thought popped in my head. I wonder what this is going to taste like. <laughs> it tasted like pussy. Glorious pussy. I was just being racist. How about that, huh? Yeah, that was the best of us. We were not paying attention, huh? Wow. Dude, the first time we had sex, it was so bomb. It was so great. She was like, you want to watch Netflix at my house? I was like, yeah, I'll watch Netflix at your house. In my 30s, you know what I mean? I know what the fuck I'm doing. I go over, she's wearing this white tank top, no bra, these little shorts. She looked fucking right. She let me in. We go to her bedroom. The wine's already poured. The Netflix is already up. She's like, what do you want to watch? I was like, Miami Vice season one, play all. Because I wanted to take it back to the 80s. You know what I mean, guys? I want to get grimy and shit in front of Tubbs. So grab her and start kissing all passionately and shit and she stops me real quick she stops me she's like steve steve we can't have sex tonight i said why not she said i'm on my period hot tub do i look like i give a fuck <laughs> so i said a bunch of dope shit to her fellas listen up uh, this is like uh this is dope all the stuff i said <laughs> So I was like, what day is it on your period? When a woman hears that, she's like, God damn, this fool's been here before. Maybe this is the hero I've been waiting for my whole life. Right? And I have, and you are. <laughs> Ladies, she gave me the worst possible answer a woman could give you. She said day two. That's a thick ass flow, okay? That flow's not fucking around. That's chunks and chunks. That's dark red, like with big traffic on your iPhone, okay? That's multiple trips to the wastebasket. Those Twinkies are piling up. Hey, but she looks so good though, right? And I was like, God damn, she's so good looking. Like, I gotta make this happen. Uh, I don't care. So I told her, hey, listen, I know we've never had sex before, so you're embarrassed and shit, but I want you to know for future reference, I ain't afraid of blood. She looked in my eyes, and so I was true and faithful. I mean, the hero she's been waiting for her whole goddamn life. So I was like, God damn, I'm gonna make this happen. Now, in the back, you guys might not be able to feel my sexual energy, but these fucking people right here, raw sexuality, sensual, all right? Listen, I know I'm fat, but I got a beautiful fucking face. I look like some kind of Middle Eastern prince with cheekbones sand swept by time. I'm like, goddamn, is this fool gonna make me come for a thousand to one Arabian Nights now? I'm just Mexican, you know what I mean? So I started kissing her all dope. First off, if you're attracted to me, you want to get dominated. That's just kind of a thing. Because if you saw me on the street, you would cross the street. But you want to make your parents upset, but just a little. You know? So this is how I kiss a girl. I just grab her by the shoulders like this, and I look mad at you like this. Like, oh. And the girl's like, why is he mad? Is it systematic racism? A bad day? She don't know. I'm just like, Ugh. And then I go aggressive and hard and all fast and shit. But right before I get to those lips, I just... 
I just <laughs> slow that shit down. <laughs> And then I whispered to her, you're not alone anymore. I'm kidding about that part. I'm kidding about that part. But I'm like, dude, she was like charming shit. And she was like, should I take it out? I was like, take that shit out, girl. So she went, bah, 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 and she came back. I'm just clocking in then. This is what I do best. Raw, utter sex. I have the perfect amount of positions, too. Uh, dude, I'm going to show you my move right now, guys. This move's so sick. Feel free to take it. Check this out. I slam like a leg up like this. And I put my hand against the wall to balance me. And I don't know why it works so well, because there's no direct literal stimulation. It's like all a mind thing and shit. <laughs> I just do this, this, and then I just start going like this. I just go like... <laughs> <laughs> and I look in her eyes and she's like this. <laughs> she came two or three times, I forget. She was like, best sex of my life, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I'm laying back, just basking in the afterglow. I look back on the wall, and I swear to you guys, full on blood handprint. Now, don't you for one fucking instance think that this shit is smeared. This is a perfect replication of my hand, okay? I'm thinking about, it's like a Stephen King paperback. I'm thinking about thinner right now, okay? You can read my fortune on the wall. It's gonna be a long life, and it's gonna be good, okay? I was like, hey girl, you gotta do something for me. She said, anything. I said, please don't get murdered tonight.